Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. So in today's video I'm going to give you a quick update on what we've been up to over the last few weeks and also we are announcing our merch drop. Now whilst we are still a couple of months away from reopening we are full speed ahead to get the park ship shape for when you arrive. To name just a few things that we've been up to, we had a visit from the 50 to 1 crew last week, they spent the morning doing some cleaning up and tidying up on the 50 to 1 track and then did some testing and riding in the afternoon. There's still a bit more work to do but it seems to have survived relatively unscathed and is running well. We've also had Farmer John down with his crew working on what was Ready McRedface and getting it ready for the Farmer John Stockport World Series at the end of June. If you saw our recent short and build diary, you'll know that James has been cracking on building us a new ride up track to make it easier to get into the woods. And in less trail building related news, we've also fully completed the forestry. All of the trees have now been planted, including a load of trees in the bottom area. All in all, it's been a really productive few weeks of building and the weather drying up a little bit has certainly helped. So we're feeling pretty confident about having a great set of trails ready for you this summer. If you want to come and ride at the park this summer, head over to the website where you can book your spot now. You can also pick yourself up a summer pass if you want to do a load of riding with us this summer. And the 50 to 1 sunset session still has a few tickets remaining. On that front, I have a small favour to ask all of you. If you know people who are interested in the coming to the park or at least been to the park before, can you please share either this video or the previous video regarding the bookings with them, as due to the vagaries of the YouTube algorithm, the last video with the booking announcement bombed pretty hard. I keep meeting people in the world of mountain biking who ask me, is the park reopened yet? So clearly the message hasn't got out there, so if you could help us out by sharing that video, that would be awesome. So moving on, one of the most frequent questions we get asked is if we are still doing merch and up until now the answer has been no. I say up until now because as of right now our merch is live on the website. Now we covered a lot of details in our last booking update video so I'm going to try and whiz through this and show you exactly what you've got so you could head on over there and grab yourself something. For this drop we've teamed up with Storm Static to create a new custom design around the Revs for Evs theme. In this design we have a few different styles. Firstly we have a short sleeve t-shirt in both black and sand colour and I must say personally I think the new sand colour looks pretty awesome. The t-shirt has the main design on the back and the Revs for Evs emblem on the front. We're also offering this in a long sleeve, again both black and sand and again it has the main design on the back and the Revs for Evs logo on the front. We're also offering the Storm Static design in a sandy, or officially it's called Torp, coloured hoodie. Again, this hoodie has the design on the back and the Revs for Evs emblem on the front. As well as this new design, we're offering our old school classic design, which is the main logo on black. This is available in both a short sleeve t-shirt and a hoodie. Also for the first time ever, we're adding to our lineup a classic design baseball cap. So this is going to be the main logo and we're doing it in a black and walnut colour. I think the walnut colour is particularly nice so I'll certainly be picking one of these up for the summer. All of this merch as well as the bookings are available through our website on the shop page and there will be links of course in the description so head on over there now and check it out. So a bit of admin for the merch drop, uh, this is being done via a pre-order. What this means is the merch will be available for a limited period only and once the order window closes they'll all get sent off to the manufacturer to be made and then shipped out to you. You need to bear this in mind for a couple of different reasons and uh, number one there'll be a delay of a few weeks from your order to when you get your product. Also you need to be really careful with the sizing as they're being made to order so we won't be able to offer exchanges on them. On the sizing front each of our pages includes a pretty detailed sizing diagram so please do take the time to look at that, measure yourself up and make sure you're all Ordering the right thing. If you got any of our merchandise before we closed you may remember that the last batch was fairly small in sizing and so generally people were buying a size bigger than they would normally. This batch is a different design and as such the sizing is a little bit more generous so don't assume that the one you bought last time will be the same size as this time. But as I say check out those sizing guys, measure yourself up and make sure you get the one that's right for you. On the dates front for pre-orders, they are live right now and should have come out at the same time as this video. The pre-orders will end on Sunday the 2nd of June at 11.59pm, so that's essentially the end of the day on Sunday the 2nd of June. 
Once that finishes, the orders will all go straight to the manufacturers and we're intending to begin deliveries on or around the 17th of June, so you can expect to receive your product sometime that week. It's important to note this is a limited run pre-order and once the pre-order closes, you won't be able to order them anymore. We are hoping to have some stock available this summer, but that's by no means guaranteed and it's part down to how successful this merch drop is. The final thing to say that as well as getting some nice merch into your hands, this is a key way for us to raise some finances to fund the ongoing rebuild of the park. So if you're keen to support us in our efforts to bring back the park, then this is a great way to do it whilst getting yourself some nice swag at the same time. So I'm going to leave it there guys, thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you're looking forward to this summer as much as we are. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel, we have some interesting videos coming up, uh, one where we've used some drone technology to help us with the rebuild of the park, another one where we actually had a building delivered and I had to get to grips with a telehandler which was quite interesting. But generally guys, like I say, subscribe and like to follow along with our rebuild journey and I hope very much to see you in the next video.